Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series with AnubhavTrainings.com. In our last episode, we talked about our demo scenario for ChatGPT and S4 HANA integration with the help of SAP BTP platform. We have set up our BTP account. We have learned about how the ChatGPT works in real life and how can you create and enable the API integration with ChatGPT. Followed by that, we also saw how to access the sales order data from SAP S4 HANA system with the sales order API. Our demo scenario includes a customer sends a text message to the business. We will extract the purchase order ID from the text message. Then we will call the SAP S4 HANA API to extract the sales order corresponding to this purchase order. After that, we will prepare a email in human readable format with the information fetched from S4 HANA with the help of the chat GPT chatbot. Further, we will send an email to the customer informing about the status of their sales order. In today's episode, we are going to set up our BTP account further to be able to start building this entire scenario. So you can see here there are multiple systems involved. We have a chat system or chat GPT. We have SAP S4 HANA system to read the sales order data. And we have also the mail system to trigger the mail. To be able to communicate to these three systems, we would need to create destinations in our BTP account. I will also be sharing this destination with you without credentials. So you can directly upload these tested destinations in your BTP account to build this scenario. Kindly refer the description of this video to find the link of the destination. I will switch over now back to my BTP account. Go to my BTP sub account and start creating destination to my SAP S4 HANA system as well as mail task. So we will go to destination tab and you can see after running the SAP BTP booster for workflow many destinations were automatically created. However, now I will import a destination for my SAP S4 HANA system. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to search here my destination CFN. Remember if you are using Anubo training training system the same destination you will be able to use for learning this end to end scenario. So I've got my destination. Let me put my ABAP credentials here for my SAP S4 HANA system and save the scene. So now I have got a destination ready to connect to my SAP S4 HANA system. You can notice the green color. Ignore the 404. We don't need to understand. We just need to focus this part. So this is step number one. Then in order to trigger the email, we would need the next destination for email. I will import my destination, which is the workflow mail task. So it's called BPM workflow runtime underscore mail. That must be the name of destination. You should not change that. I will put here my email account. And I will also add the password of my email account over here. I save the same. So you can see now the email destination is also created. The next destination is to talk to chat. So let's call here chat GPT. And it should be as per the call which we made in the Postman tool in the last session. If you missed the last session, don't worry. You can check the description of this video to find the link of my last episode. I will copy. The call is going to be HTTP with the URL my chat GPT integration. We can put the internet link and you see there are different options to choose where we can just put the authentication option we will pass the username as bearer and in the password we are going to pass the token of chat gpt so i've already copied the token 
which I am passing it over there. Yes. Just make sure that this is the correct token. Yes. We click on save button. And now my destination for chat GPT is also ready. I will be sharing this destination with all of you. Please make sure that you need to update the password or your own token, API token into this destination after you upload. You've got all the three destinations ready. Our next step will be to start with the dev tool. We go to SAP BTP cockpit sub account with services instances and subscriptions to create a new dev space for business application studio this is the central place where we are going to do all the development of our ptp workflow let me connect i log in and create a new dev space in the bash studio We will choose the option full stack development with SAP BTP workflow module to get started with the BTP workflow. You can actually choose anything you like. Maybe we can choose Fiori with BTP workflow module. We click on create the dev space. Now the dev space is getting created. So once my dev space is started, I will go inside the dev space inside my BTP Bass account to start developing a new workflow project from scratch. We first of all switch the project directory to open folder. To And now I can just go ahead and create a new project from template to start developing our workflow. We will choose a basic multi target application, also known as MTA project, chat GPT integration. Click on finish. The system will restart my best studio. And now I've got a very basic project. We can right click on MTA file and create a MTA module from template. To create our first BTP workflow. We now choose a BTP workflow module and click on next. Let's give the name as chat. GPT S4 Next Give a namespace Anubav Com dot Anubav trainings Workflow name is chat GPT sales order Get sales order Email to customer From PO This will now create a BTP workflow for us with a workflow module. If you are interested to learn end to end about SAP BTP workflow, please feel free to subscribe our SAP BTP workflow training. I assume you are already taken that training and you're comfortable with BTP workflow. Keeping that in mind, I will proceed the next part of this session. When you double click on the workflow, dot workflow file under the workflows folder it will open up the designer where we can go ahead and design our btp workflow you can see it is loading the btp workflow now in the btp workflow we should be able to design the entire sequence of flow of our work So now we are ready to start developing our end-to-end -end scenario. 
this comes to the end of this episode today in our next episode i am going to start developing the workflow with the first two steps of fetching the information from chat gpt and bringing the information from s4 hana for our sales order stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to smash the bell icon i'll catch you up in the next episode have a nice day and goodbye